Yes, that's right. Today I give you a tutorial on how to play Minecraft onto your Quest 2. You will be able to dive into its uh, single player, multiplayer and even install mods in Glorious VR. The game runs completely standalone, so you can play wherever you want. And most importantly, what you need are, well, <laughs> a Quest 2 of course, a USB Type-C cable, a PC slash laptop, a program called SideQuest and a bot version of Minecraft Java Edition. If you got all that stuff laying around in your house, then we can get started. So with that being said, let's jump right into the metaphor, shall we? And uh, I'll show you how to make the magic happen. Let's -a go. First of all, you want to grab your laptop or use a computer to download SideQuest. We need this so that later we can install Minecraft onto the headset. So it's important you download this program. You can do this at sidequestvr.com by clicking on get sidequest and download the new easy installer. It's the one on the on the left. Underneath you can then choose between Windows, Mac OS and even Linux by opening show more. It's good to know that SideQuest is approved by Meta so it's completely legit. You don't have to worry that this is some kind of funky program. Anyways, after you downloaded your preferred version and installed the program on your PC or laptop, you want to start by clicking on open setup instructions. This will introduce you to three simple steps. Step one is creating an organization. To be able to do this, visit dashboard.oculus.com, log in with your desired account. Uh, you may have to verify it with a credit card or in my case, an authenticator. And when you did all of that, then you can uh, on the left create your organization. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what name you choose. It can be anything you like. So go well, okay? And when you came up with uh, something original, check off I understand and agree to the non-disclosure for developers. To double check you created your organization, it should show up on the left column. You can then go back to SideQuest and move on to step two. And that is turning on the developer mode in the MetaQuest app on the mobile. You can find this in the main menu under headset settings, developer mode, and then simply flip the switch. It is recommended you reboot your quest right after to make sure the headset has saved this new setting. Now it's time for the last step where blitzing through this, I know. Step three is connecting the headset to your PC or laptop via a cable. Depending on the parts you have available, you can use a USB-C to A or the original charging cable that came with the headset. After you successfully hooked up the Quest with whatever cable, don't forget to accept the USB debugging and the data message inside VR to give SideQuest access to your headset. You should instantly see the connection status turn green on all four points quickly after. Now let's say one of them is still red and you have no idea what causes this, then you can click on the button fix it for me. This will give you several suggestions of what could be the issue. You can for example uh, try plugging the cable you use into a different port, try another cable of a different brand, reboot your PC or headset, turn the developer mode off and on in the mobile app or reset the USB connection dialog in the developer tab in the settings of your quest. If none of that fixes it, don't throw your controllers away just yet. Oh, never mind. But hit up SideQuest's uh, technical support on their website. They are happy to help you out whenever. You can find a uh, link in the description of this video. Good luck. When you are set, you can click on install SideQuest. This may take a moment, so do not disconnect your headset till it tells you it's finished. Great, so now you can unplug your Quest and strap it on. Inside your app library, you want to open the drop down list in the top right corner and select SideQuest in unknown sources. You should get a pop up that contains a six digit code that you have to link to your SideQuest account. So take off the headset again and go to sdq.st slash link. Quickly sign up or log in with your uh, SideQuest account and fill in the code. If you filled it incorrectly, a new window will pop up that asks you to link the app. Give it permission to do so and voila, you're set. Congratulations, that in a nutshell is how you install SideQuest onto your headset. 
Sweet! So now we're officially ready to download and install Minecraft, better known as Questcraft. The game should show up on the storefront of SideQuest, but if it doesn't, then look it up in the search bar instead. On its game page, click on the pinkish sideload button, let it download all the files and give SideQuest permission to allow all unknown apps, so it can start installing Minecraft. This may take a while, so please be patient. When it successfully installed the game, head over to uh, Unknown Sources again and uh, launch it. During the boot sequence, make sure you accept all the prompts that cross your path. And next up is logging in with your Microsoft account. Do keep in mind you need to own Minecraft Java Edition for this to work. To uh, sign in, use a web browser to open the page microsoft.com slash link and enter the code you are being given. Link it to your Microsoft account and go back to your headset. After you clicked on login, hit play and this will take you to the well-known Minecraft menu in about under a minute or so. And that's it. From there you can then dive into the single or multiplayer. It's totally up to you. Let's say you do get stuck on the loading screen, then restart your quest and try again. This usually solves it, but if that doesn't do the trick, then I would recommend you reaching out to the devs on the Questcraft Discord. I will make sure there is a link to that in the video description as well. For the single player enthusiasts out there, it is good to mention that the moment you start creating a world, uh, just don't think your headset crashed, okay? It just takes a long, long time to generate one on a standalone headset. Anyhow, the fact you can explore Minecraft's huge open world from within VR is truly mind-blowing. You do want to play around with the video settings as by default the performance isn't the best, but after you settled everything, it's amazing. Joining a multiplayer is fairly simple too, just uh, type in the server you want to join and start playing. Do double check if a server allows VR players, as you could get banned for using a VR mod. In this case, a quick Google search should give you a nice overview of where you can go, or you just join the official Questcraft server. If you have the desire to start modding the game further or adding your own save games, then you can learn more in the video description too. So yeah, from now on, every time you start playing Minecraft, you have to go to unknown sources and launch it uh, from there. Oh, and before I forget, properly close the game through the menu because otherwise the game might get stuck in the background. And there you go, my friends. That's how you download, install and play Minecraft on your Quest 2. Yes, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. I hope this tutorial served you well. If it did, then make sure to slam that like button, of course. And next to that, what's the first thing you are going to do in Questcraft? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious to hear what your adventures are going to be. And with that being said, until next time, see you in the metaphors and bye-bye for now. Oh yeah.